Good morning, everybody. My name is Parul Tripathi. I manage sales department in my fintech company. So the topic that I've chosen today is self-belief because I feel to accomplish anything in life, we need to have self-belief first. Do you all agree? So self-belief is like that basic primary ingredient that is required to lead a happy, successful, and fulfilling life. And to reinforce the power of the mind, I would want to do all in activity later. But before that, do you know what self-belief is? Of course, you all know. The term in itself is so self-explanatory. It is like having faith in your ability, having confidence in yourself. It is like whatever I have decided in my mind, I'll be able to do it. I will be the winner. No matter what is the situation, what is the road ahead. So now you're all ready to do activity. For that, I need everybody's permission. Thank you so much. So all you have to do is, at the count of three, you all need to stand up. Are you all ready? Yes. One, two, three. Please stand up. Now please sit down. Please stand up again, once again. Sit down, please. Thank you so much. Now, you have to follow my instructions, OK? You have to close your eyes. And please do not open your eyes unless I ask you to. So everybody, please close your eyes and take two deep breaths. Ready? Imagine you are at a beach and you are taking a walk along the edges of the water. And there is one closest family member of yours who is walking along with you. He or she can be anybody, your spouse, your partner, mom, dad, friend, sibling. And this is the best walk of your life. The sight around is so beautiful. Now, as you walk, feel the sand under your feet. It is so relaxing. Feel the breeze coming onto your face. It is so pleasant. Try to listen to the sounds of the waves. It feels like as if you're listening to some piece of soothing music. And as you walk ahead, there are two benches lying on the beach. Sit down there along with your partner and look at the view of the ocean. This is so beautiful. You're having the best time of your life. Think of all the friends and family members you have in your life and feel grateful that God has blessed them with them all in your life. Now slowly bring your awareness back into the room and without opening your eyes, stand up. Okay. Now sit down please. Thank you so much. And slowly open your eyes. Did you all notice the speed with which you all stood for the first time and the speed with which you all stood now? Was it comparatively slower? This is because when I was giving instructions to all of you, your mind has taken back you all to a beach. So though physically you all were here, but in your mind you all were at the beach. So that's the power of the mind. Your mind can make us all believe in the things which do not exist for reality. And when we start believing in those unreal things, our actions, they get aligned in a manner so that those unreal things can get converted into reality. So they say that every battle is won twice, first in mind and then in reality. And as I'm mentioning self-belief, it's very important to mention Limiting self-belief also. You all can say self-belief, it's such a simple word. What's the big deal in having self-belief? But when it is required most, most of us don't exhibit it. So one thing is self-belief and the other is limiting self-belief. Now what is limiting self-belief? So limiting self-belief, they're the negative perception that we form in our mind based on the bad experiences of our past. Somebody must have said something. Somebody must have discouraged. Somebody must have mocked at us because we were trying to do something different. And we start believing that we are not talented enough. We do not have capability. What we are doing is correct or not? Does it happen with you all also? So what has to be done? We need to break all the limiting self-belief that we have in our life. Because these limiting self-belief, they are like the chain stuck in our feet that stops us from climbing the ladder of success. So eliminate all the limiting belief that you have in your life. And how do we do that? By developing self-belief, of course. And how can we do that? Do we have any pill available in the market that we can gulp and develop self-belief overnight? 
Unfortunately not. So I have a technique to develop self-belief and my technique to develop self-belief is very simple. I have named it as BOSS. Okay. Before that, I take you all to the technique. Just to focus more on the limiting self-belief, do you all know how an elephant is tamed? So when an elephant is small, the Mahavat, the trainer of the elephant, he ties a strong metallic chain in the leg of the elephant. So one leg of the elephant is tied to a chain and the other leg of the elephant is tied to a pole. So initially what happens, elephant tries to set himself free by breaking open the chain and he fails. Again he tries, he fails. Every time he tries, he fails. So over a period of time, he stops trying. Time passes and elephant grows up. Now as you all can see in the picture, that elephant is all grown up. And if you all can see, the chain is just tied to its leg. So technically, elephant is free now. It can run away anytime. But do you all know what happens? It doesn't even try. And that is because over a period of time, it has developed this limiting self-belief in his mind that he'll never be able to break open the chain. So that's the negative impact that we can have in our real lives also, isn't it? Now, as I was mentioning that I have a technique, so let's see that technique. So BOSS is a technique through which you can eliminate all the self-belief and you can develop more and more self-belief about yourself. So basically BOSS is an acronym and from all the letters of the BOSS starts a quality in which we need to train ourselves in order to develop self-belief. Now let's see all of them one by one. Be the BOSS of your life. So B says be in the company of positive people and achievers. So a person is known by the company he or she keeps. And I'd read a quote somewhere that said that if you want to fly like an eagle, stop swimming with ducks. So try to surround yourself with people who are always pushing you in achieving your goals, who are always motivating you to go that extra mile. Okay? And to reinforce the power of positivity, I would like to narrate one small story. Can you all recognize the gentleman in the picture? Yes, he's Sir Thomas Elva Edison. So this incident is from his childhood. He was the one who invented light bulb. So one day, Mr. Edison, he came home from school with a letter in his hand. And this letter was given to him by his teacher. And his teacher had strictly told him that this letter has to be opened by your mother only. So he went home, handed over the letter to his mother. And as his mother read the letter, she started crying. So looking at this, Edison asked her, why are you crying? What's written in the letter? And then she read the letter aloud to him. She said, it's written that your child is a genius and our school is not capable enough to cater the need of such an intelligent child. We lack skilled teaching staff. And after that incident, Edison stopped going to school. He was homeschooled by his mother. Time passed, Edison grew up. Long after his mother's death, he was looking out for something in the store of the house and suddenly he chanced upon a piece of paper in the drawer. He took it out and he realized that it's the same letter that was given to him by his teacher. And as he read it, he also started crying and he read, cried for many hours. Can you all guess what was written in the letter? It was written that your child is mentally ill and he is being expelled from the school. So can you all believe that day if Edison's mother would have told him the truth, would he have been able to bring light into our lives? Would he have been able to attain the heights he had achieved in his life? No. So that's the power of the positivity. Always think for the best, work for the best, and best things will happen to you. Now coming on to the next letter of the boss, which is O, that says overcome your fear. We all have some or the other fear in our lives. And these fears, they stop us from achieving our goals. So we need to get rid of these fears because we all know in Hindi they say Dar ke aage jeet hai, right? So I would like to narrate one personal experience. Growing up, I was a very timid girl. I always had this fear of falling down because of which I could not learn to ride a bicycle. Time passed, I grew up, got married. When I started working, many of my colleagues, they would come driving their own cars. And I would admire these ladies. I would secretly wish to drive my car, 
but somewhere i always felt that as i cannot ride a bicycle how will i ever be able to drive a car and even if i'll try i'll do some accident and this fear was so deeply embedded in my mind that i could not even imagine myself driving a car only when i shared this fear with my husband he motivated me i learned driving i not only learned it but became efficient at it and my confidence increased in leaps and bounds so we need to note down what all the, uh, what are the fears that we have and try to figure out how can we get rid of them now the next o say sorry next s says set goals so goals are the starting point of success in life they lead to purpose in our life and we all need to have some or the other goal in our life and goal we all can set goal in our personal life professional life relationship goal fitness goal financial goal and not necessarily every time goal has to be big it can be as simple as uh, learning how to swim or learning a musical instrument and once we have set our goal we should ensure that every day we are contributing something in achieving our goal and once we achieve our goal our confidence goes up we feel happy about ourselves our self esteem goes up and our ability to take on the bigger goal increases also we become more risk friendly so this was the third s fourth s says study the autobiography and success stories so i'm sure all of you sitting in this room will agree with me that reading is one habit that changes our life for better and when we read the success stories of achievers rich and successful people we will realize that they were also under confident at some point of time in their life it was only when they started believing in themselves they started achieving success and with success backing them they became even more confident so we all should study the autobiographies and all especially self help books and all so this was the boss be the boss of your life and develop lot of self belief about yourself and as i reach towards the closure i would like to narrate one small story can you all figure out who's this lady in the picture yes she is arunima sinha she was a national level volleyball player and she is the world's first female amputee to climb the mount everest so her life changed when she was traveling in a moving train and there she was attacked by a bunch of robbers and she fell off the train then she was taken to hospital and when she regained her consciousness in the hospital she made a promise to herself a promise that would seem impossible to many she said that i am going to climb the highest peak of the world mount everest after she was discharged from the hospital she started her training and within a few months she was able to convert all her dream into reality so if she can do it all of us can do it it's just a matter of realizing our potential believing in it and working towards achieving it at last i would like to conclude my talk uh, with few lines of a very famous hindi poem by poet dr harivansh rai bachchan ji nanhi cheeti jab dana lekar chadti hai chadti deewaron par 100 baar fisalti hai man ka vishwas रगो में साहस भरता है चढ़कर गिरना गिरकर चढ़ना ना खटता है आखिर उसकी मेहनत बेकार नहीं होती कोशिश करने वालों की कभी हार नहीं होती सो लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन द मैसेज दैट हैज बीन ट्राई टू कन्वे थ्रू दीज लाइन इज दैट लाइफ इज अ रोलर कोस्टर राइड वी ऑल विल हैव अर हाईज एंड लोज इन लाइफ बट इफ वी हैव सेल्फ बिलीव एंड वी आर वर्किंग हार्ड कंसिस्टेंटली टू अचीव आर ड्रीम्स nobody trust me nobody can stop success from kissing up me thank you so much